Hello everybody, it's What's Your Review again, and uh, our next section will be talking about how to install Ubuntu. If you've watched the last couple videos, and if you think that you have liked it, and would like to try it, I have a really simple and foolproof way to download it and uh, try it out. It's very low risk and everything like that, and if you don't like it, it's really simple to uninstall. So I'm not actually going to do this inside of Windows. This is a program that you download to Windows and install from Windows. But uh, I'm going to stay on my Linux. I don't have a screen capture program for Windows. But uh, I'll explain it to you and I'll show you the website that you need to go to and everything like that. So we're going to go ahead and open up Google Chrome and go to Ubuntu.com. This is obviously the website for Ubuntu. And this is what you're going to see when you like uh, hit enter. What you want to do is hit get Ubuntu. And then this is the regular file and this is if you want to try it before but what you want to do is you want to hit this third one run it with windows and then you must have the screen pop up what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to hit start download this is going to download a small file it's only 1.4 about 1.5 megabytes so it shouldn't take very long to download it at all and you're going to open that and this website will pretty much explain everything for you um, I actually can't do this on windows myself because I already have my Ubuntu install, but I'll go click the show me house. So obviously you're gonna run the program. And then to install it is really is really is quite simple. So you're just gonna hit continue and then this screen is gonna pop up. This screen is very uh tiny and it's just it's very simple. All you have to do is hit your C drive, it should be automatically selected. Then you can have your installation size and with this you just want to bump it up to however much you want. The maximum is 30 gigabytes. That means, like when I open up my home folder, I only can have 30 gigabytes. I have 19 gigabytes free right now, but 30 gigabytes is a max in this form of Ubuntu, um, which is fine for me. I don't use that much files. So you can just hit 30 if you have the extra space in your hard drive. If not, do something less than that. You want Ubuntu as your desktop and back environment. For language, hit English if that applies to you and for then you just need to enter your username and password and hit install and what this is going to do is download a file that is the ISO file this is how it gets installed and this file is really big it's about 700 megabytes so this will take some time but the nice thing is, is that this program will, should automatically detect what file you need and download it for you so you don't have to do that yourself when this is done doing all that all you want to do is hit reboot now and finally when you reboot before windows even shows up or anything like that you're going to get a screen like this and uh, it just gives you a choice of which one do you want to go into do you want to go into microsoft windows whatever you have or do you want to go into ubuntu and all you're going to need to do is hit down on your arrow key and hit enter on your keyboard and then you will boot into ubuntu and it's going to install it for you right when you boot in and that's going to take a little bit of time as well but once you're done with that, you're good and ready to go. If you do, if you decide that you don't like Ubuntu and would like to uninstall it, this is by far the best way to do it. Um, this is why I recommend downloading this because the, un the inst uninstallation process is ridiculously simple. What this will do is it saves a. This puts Ubuntu into, uh, for my case, a 30 gigabyte file in Windows. So if I look at my computer in Windows. I will see 30 gigabytes of a file that's called Ubuntu. This is where all my information in here is stored. So all you need to do if you don't like Ubuntu is go into Windows and go into the uninstallation manager that you can find in uh, control panel and just there will be a program listed called Ubuntu and you just need to hit uninstall and it frees up the space on your hard drive no problem. This is by far the best way to do it. Uh, after this video I will be posting kind of a what to download to get started because Ubuntu is very simple and when it works it, it works ridiculously simple and it's fast but there are a couple of tricks you need to do before you are completely ready to get up and go and I'll explain those in the next video so if you want you probably want to watch that video before you go on and install it yourself just so you have some idea uh, I don't know if flash works right away so you won't be able to watch YouTube videos right away from Ubuntu but I'll be showing you in the next video how to fix that so if you just stick around for that and hit next video, I will show you there. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.